Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Oz Throw Show. I am going to try to get through this relatively quickly today um, because there's a lot to cover. But firstly, we have the Commonwealth Games selection uh, team already announced, so that's good news. We have Cam McIntyre, Alex Hulley, Catherine Mitchell, Mackenzie Little, Kelsey Lee Barber, Maddie Denny and Sarah Edmiston, as well as Julie Charlton. I accidentally skipped over it, but we also have Taryn Golshuski, who's making her third Commonwealth Games for the discus uh, after a comeback from injury. Um, so congratulations to those throwers. There's a couple of um, new ones to the Commonwealth Games, which is going to be sweet for them. And we also have ones that narrowly missed out. Um, Cruz Hogan, Ned Weatherly, Alexandra Roberts, and Damien Birkenhead, in my opinion. Um, now at Oceana, that happened uh, early June. Should have got around to it a bit early, but there's just so much going on. And highlight performances would have been Mackenzie Little's uh, PB throw of 63 metres. Cruz Hogan just taking the win for the Oceana Championships and the men's javelin. Um, Steph Ratcliffe threw a 2 or 3 metre PB in the hammer. Um, Alexandra Roberts threw a season's best in the javelin. And we had Jackson Hamilton win the men's para um, javelin as well with a big throw of 60 metres something. I can't remember every distance off the top of my head, but um, well done, everyone. It was a great competition. And not long after that, we had the um, Queensland Masters Championships uh, in Mackay. And then we had uh, under-16 team challenge as well, which saw clubs around Queensland compete. The under-20 World Athletics Championships are coming up, and we have uh, Leilani Vai, Mali Raikuasa, Mackenzie milk Zarek, Etienne Rousseau, and Darcy Miller throwing for Australia. So that is August. Um, we just had the Saipan uh, Pacific Mini Games with uh, Charlie's Goody, Laura Roberts, Renee Hardy, Angelina Tignani, Jackson Maller, Benjamin Roberts, Alexander Del Popolo, and Thomas Noakes. Um, they travelled over there for about a week, just over a week maybe, and um, yeah, came back with a few medals. Um, I know Charlize and Angelina placed first um, in discus and javelin, respectively, and we had um, Lara and Benjamin Roberts place first in the hammer throw for women's and men's respectively and um, Jackson Muller placed second in the discus men's um, and Alex and Thomas placed fifth and eighth I believe in the javelin so yeah I'm just waiting on them to send through their videos and I'll put together a vlog and post that on the Oz Throwers either YouTube channel or Instagram Facebook both all figure it out now just recently as well like within the last month um maddie denny placed third in rebut uh diamond league for the men's discus and he threw i believe a 6707 which was the distance he needed at tokyo games to have placed third so he made a joke about that um but congrats mate that's a big achievement and not long after that at the paris diamond league we had Mackenzie Little placed fourth in the uh, women's javelin and just behind was Kelsey Lee Barber who placed fifth, of course. Um, I believe they're all still overseas at the moment. Uh, Maddie's going to USA soon for competition. I saw he posted that on his Instagram just before. We also had the Australian ceremonial team announced. So those that were to be selected to compete at the um, World Uni Games in Chengdu, China. Um, they ended up cancelling the Australian team to compete there because of what's going on in the world right now, I guess. And um, and yeah, so uh, it's just Athletics Australia put together a ceremonial team and that included Alexander Klesnikov, Cameron McIntyre, Levante Sumai, Alexandra Hulley, Mackenzie Little and Alexandra Roberts. 
Now, just recently, we had Andre Rivet. He was selected to represent Australia at the Down Syndrome World Championships in Nimburg, uh, Czech Republic, just recently. Andre placed second in the men's discus um, in the world. And to top that as well, he placed fourth in the men's shot put and eighth in the men's javelin. Um, so it's a great achievement, Andre, and I will see you next time in Brisbane, maybe September sometime this year. Hopefully throw against you again. I'll give you a handshake then. So well done, mate. So we also had an announcement, I believe it was late April, that a new throw centre will be built um, in Queensland. Um, the throw, the new National Throw Centre of Excellence at QAS um, Nathan, so just in Brisbane. So um, this will offer the best high performance hub for Australia's current and future elite athletes. So a little bit of a sad moment for me because that's the um, it's being built on the shot put warm up circles. Um, that's fine, and hopefully we see that open before the end of the year. I'm not 100 percent sure when it's expected to be open, but I presume sometime this year, early next year. Um, now the World Championships, this is pretty big news for athletics in Australia. Um, that will be live streamed from July 16 for the full 10 days um, on SBS. So that's great because um, I don't have to pay to watch it. The World Masters Athletics are underway in Tampere, Finland at the moment, and we have a few of our throwers competing over there. So that's Jill Taylor, Adriana Van Bockel, Mary Thomas, Sally Stagels, and Maureen Keshwa. So day one, as of now, has already commenced, and I'll be posting some updates on the Throwers Australia uh, Facebook group as well. So if you want to head over there, uh, follow us, we've nearly got... 500 members in the group and it's actually a really active um, community so head on over and we have Emma Berg who is going to represent Australia in the under 23 European tour for shot put so um, Emma has has a, um, a fundraising link I will put that in the description on the YouTube and um, maybe in the bio on Instagram so head on over and help donate if you feel um, generous enough and I want to end this on a question I posted this in the Facebook group but should open athletes wear state colors to nationals now I understand that there's um, all your sponsored gear and whatnot but my own opinion on it is it would be nice to see open athletes wearing the same colors as the younger athletes so they feel a part of something greater um but yeah my question answer it in the comments below and i think that's it i will possibly post another show after the commonwealth games world championships and cali columbia bye